So I actually, I guess well, we could talk about that because obviously you're not from here. Yeah. What made you want to choose the land of the desert? Dude, I, uh, so I was working, I was, it's, first of all, it's always been a dream to just get out of like Minnesota. Like, really? dude, like since I was a kid, cause I'm born and raised in Minnesota. My parents are immigrants. Okay. So this is, since I was a kid, I'm like, dude, like I've always wanted to live in Cali or somewhere warm all year round. Cause it's, it's brutal in Minnesota, like negative 30, bro. Like you can't start your car. It's so cold. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Like okay. it's, it's, it's cold. So then one of my biggest affirmations for 2019 was to get out of Minnesota to just move. So I was looking at Cali and I'd never been to Arizona before. Didn't know anyone here. Really? And, uh, it's just like the job that the opportunity that I had out here paid more than in Cali and the cost of living was cheaper. So I was like, fuck it, dude. I picked up my stuff and moved in two weeks. And I'd never just been like here. Just like that, two weeks? Two weeks, never been here, didn't know anyone here. Just, and drove, dude. How close were you to almost going to California, though? If that not was- Not close. Not close not at all? Not close. It was like half of what I am getting paid now, so. Dude, I know, well, yeah, we all know that. It's yeah. hella expensive to Plus, live cost there. of living is like double what my rent is, so. That's crazy. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Dang, that's crazy, so two weeks. Two weeks. Why, like, so quick? It was, uh, I think I was just stoked. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to get more nerved or I was, but I'm just like I was like I I've never had like a I never really make impulse decisions like that and I was like fuck it dude like you just got to do this it. This is a big opportunity and I was interviewing and they're like I was like when do you need me to start da 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 and they're like dude we needed you like yesterday and I'm like shit I'll put in my two weeks right now. Really? <laughs> I was a happy I was at a happy hour with my coworkers when I got the call. That what? like like yo you got the job. I was like damn. That's awesome. That's but, really good news though yeah, like Yeah, it was you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. How's it been so far then? Dude I literally just tweeted today. It was 11 months ago today that I arrived in in Arizona. Was it really like, so it was almost a year since we did that? It's been almost so, a year, bro. Wow, it's crazy. It's been almost a year. It's that been crazy. Fast. Right? Dang. Yeah, yeah. But it's been good, dude. Nothing but blessings, bro. Like, so much more opportunity out here. And like, exactly. I honestly, yeah. like, there's not a day I wake up and I'm not grateful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just to wake up and just to be here is like, I step outside, I'm in a good mood. You know what I mean? Even with the heat, what do you think? Oh, hell yes with the heat. Like, yeah. I, I love it, dude. <laughs> Way better than the cold? Way better than the cold, bro. There's nothing like, like in, in Minnesota, bro, it's like humid, you know? So it's Is like, it? you, yeah. So okay. it's like, in the summer, you get three months of summer, right? Where it's like, you got the t- land of 10,000 lakes, so it's like nice and like everyone's out having fun on the right. boats and shit. If you know someone with a boat or on a lake, right? Mm-hmm. But then, I mean, even in the summer, it's just like hella bugs, bro. Like mm-hmm. here, we don't have that much, as many bugs. I've noticed, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's not. It's around like bad. swampy, rainy season. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's not bad at all. But the falls though are really like really nice though, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, I would say they have to be preference. killer. It's, it yeah. is. It is. It is. Fall is fire. I love fall because you can layer up, and it's like I'm all about the style. You know, I like I like uh, dressing up and everything, but. Um, but yeah, fall's fire, but it's, I mean, dude, it'll start to get cold around, like, November, September. Hmm. And then it's like, bro, you can't even do anything. <laughs> Just to quickly touch on that, what's the coldest it's ever been that you remember living out there? Negative 35. Negative 35. With, like, 40, 40 miles per hour wind chill. Like, oh, winds. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. So is everyone just kind of, like, packed home? Couldn't start my car that day for work. So like, what happens if that... Like, you just keep trying, bro. <laughs> you just keep yeah. trying to start your car. Cause you it's still so obviously have to get into work. <laughs> yeah, so then... Um so then, yeah, like, finally got my car started. But it's like, at the, like Ooh. dude, it's so cold. Like, when you leave your car, you have to run. Like, you cannot... Like, you got to run. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't think no it was that around. cold. It's cold, bro. No, it's Dang. colder than Canada. Like, it's colder than... That's like, absurd. Last year, it was colder than Antarctica for the really? majority of the summer. Or the majority of the, the winter. winter. Yeah. So the snow is obviously packed high yeah i mean even when it's not snowing a shit ton and like randomly it'll uh it'll just be cold bro it's just like where it's located there's like this like the like this polar vortex that happens because you got north and south dakota next to you mm-hmm. and that shit's all flat yeah wisconsin michigan and you got all of like the cold air coming in from like the lakes mm-hmm. so it's just i don't know well i'm glad you came here then man. yeah it bro. sounds I obviously it like here. it was a good transition <laughs> yeah, dude i love it here bro um and so i know your roomie charles obviously the big man um did you so you met him up there and then right yeah it was kind of a funny story too so i started i met him through working with my brand um, exceed so we did a shoot we did one shoot together okay um and that was my first time meeting him a lot of people that i meet for the first time it like i'm shooting with them for the first time gotcha so yeah um, yeah so then um so then yeah we just met that way and uh he killed the shoot we we got a workout in um during the shoot and then i was gonna say he takes it seriously and then we kinda, that dude's yeah that dude's legit yeah and then we um 
we kind of both uh, kept talking and shit. And then I was like, yo, let's hit a lift before I, before I move. And he's like, where are you moving? Like, when, you, when are you moving? I'm like, do I move next weekend to Arizona? And he's That's like, crazy. bro, I'm moving to Arizona. Oh, word. So That's how like, it happened? Yeah, dude. So oh, wow. Like, bro, I was like, I ain't... The most I've driven was 12 hours. I'm like, I'm not about to drive 25 hours like by myself, bro. Like, can you ship your... like? road trip with me you know that's crazy so we just made it happen bro. I thought like, you knew him minute. before and maybe kind of tried to convince him nah, to come dude. or something dude it was all random like and then um, and then my third roommate so I airbnb for the first three months bro like in a shitty little like was that I was expensive? paying like 900 bucks a month for mm. this room and it was like a shared kitchen and shared bathroom so like I couldn't even like it, it was miserable bro it was it, I mean it was bad but it wasn't miserable yeah. but like yeah so then um, we, we both three we both uh airbnb it when we first got here and then my third roommate this girl um from minnesota raven who was my other roommate's like high school friend she bailed so we're like fuck we need a roommate so i was like yo charles just live with us and it's been perfect bro like he's the best roommate i've ever had yeah yeah like hands down like charles and i are tight that's crazy dude Mm -hmm. what a